Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com and this is Mathy, my assistant and mascot. In this lesson we are gonna study metric units for measuring weight. And I intend this lesson for about fourth grade where students can already study conversions between the units and they are already somewhat familiar with kilograms and grams. I wrote here the basic metric units for measuring weight which are gram and kilogram. These two are not really used, not actually used, but they exist because the metric system has a units because that's how metric system is. It has these units, they are just not used in everyday life. Okay, and we have gram as the basic unit for measuring weight. 10 grams makes a decagram. 10 decagram makes a hectogram and then 10 hectograms makes a kilogram. And then that makes one kilogram to be 1,000 grams, because we have 10 times 10 times 10 up here. Okay, so one kilogram is 1,000 grams, and that's important to remember. You want to also remember that this word kilo means 1,000, okay, this prefix here. I wrote here some ballpark weights that will help us visualize grams and kilograms. The first one I didn't write here, but this is a little toy plastic bear and it weighs about three grams okay this little thingy feels almost nothing is three grams gram is a very small unit my whiteboard marker weighs about 15 grams okay it's also very light and here is a regular tomato about 100 grams Now, Mathy here weighs about 140 grams. What is it, Mathy? Oh, I know what he's going to say. He's going to claim that he weighs 7,000 kilograms. But, Mathy, I weighed you. Just yesterday I weighed you, and you were about 140 grams, so I know, okay? Banana, yep. This is a banana I weighed yesterday, about 200 grams. School books can vary, of course. Here I have one school book that is. 1 kilogram 100 grams. Okay, it's fairly heavy, feels fairly heavy, sturdy, lots of pages. Newborn babies are usually around 3 kilograms. And first grader, about 20 kilograms. I was 20 kilograms when I was in first grade, but of course that can vary too. Adult woman, now this is me, about 55 kilograms. And of course that varies too, more or less, you know. Adult man could be 75 kilograms or more or less, you know. Some men might weigh 90 kilograms. Mammoth is between those two, 5,000 to 9,000 kilograms, so they are heavy. Let's do some conversions between grams and kilograms. Remembering that kilo here means thousand. Kilogram is a thousand grams. So three kilograms here would be 3,000 grams, right? So we get a th total of 3,400 kilograms here. 3,400 grams, I'm sorry. And let's change the other way, 8,200 grams. The 8,000 grams makes 8 kilograms. So 8 here, and then 200 here. This is very easy. Now, 7 kilograms and 50 grams. 7 kilograms is 7,000 grams, and then 50 to that, so 7,050. Just need to notice that there's a zero here in the hundreds place, okay? 2,007 grams. That will be exactly 2 kilograms, right? And then 7 grams. And then we'll solve a few word problems. What's the total weight of 5 boxes that weigh 850 grams each? And we will need to give the answer in kilograms and grams. But, of course, this is a multiplication problem, so we get to practice multiplication. 850 times 5. I have 0 here, then 25 and 42. So the total weight is 4,250 grams and I'm going to write it as 4 kilograms 250 grams. Or you could even write it as 4 and 1 fourth kilograms, right? At one week of age a baby weighs 3 kilograms. If he gains 30 grams per day, how much will he weigh at 6 weeks? Now there's lots of numbers in this problem, maybe you want to read it twice Maybe you want to read it second time. Okay, at one week of age, a baby weighs three kilograms. Then later it talks about six weeks. At one week, 
he weighs that much and at six weeks how much will he weigh so he will get five weeks older he's one week now and then at six weeks this is the means this means that the time period we're looking at is five weeks okay we have five weeks to look at and each day he gains 30 grams so five weeks how many days is that five weeks times seven days per week so we get 35 days and each day he gains 30 grams so let's now calculate how much he gains 35 days times 30 but I'm just gonna multiply times 3 first and then tag a 0 I have 15 here and then 10 here and then I put a 0 here so he gains 1050 grams which is 1000 grams is a kilogram so it is 1 kilogram and then 50 grams now we add that to the 3 kilograms so that is pretty easy we we'll get 4 kilograms and 50 grams as our answer lastly mathy school books I think Matthew provided me with this problem. Thank you, Matthew. Matthew's school books weigh 650 grams, 1.5 kilograms, 1 kilogram, 800 grams, and 1,200 grams. Which one of them is his? Matthew! What did you do? That's not how the problem should read. He's just laughing. Matthew, we need to change this problem. We can solve which one of them is your math book. Oh, we can you think so he's saying that it's this one because it has so many numbers in it oh well let's change it surely you meant that what is the total weight right that's what you meant I don't know what goofiness hit you to change the problem so what is the total weight now okay there's grams, kilograms, gra kilograms, grams, grams. We cannot add these together until we have everything either in kilograms or in grams. Let's change everything to grams and then add. We will have 650 grams. Then I'm going to add to it one and a half kilograms. But how many grams is it? One kilogram, thousand grams. Half a kilogram, 500. So 1,500, right? And then one kilogram, 800 grams. That's what, that would be 1,800. And then lastly, 1,200. And now add this 0, 5, and 10, 21, 5, 5,150 grams. Or 5 kilograms, 150 grams. That's plenty of weight to carry for let's say fourth grader